these are. So this Welcome to one of the season's most inspiring hits. It's a wonderful life. But first, this important announcement. Look, here, here. And I've only got an hour to get ready. Iris, you won't spend that hour getting that ready with George Bailey. Yeah, but I'm sure Yes, sir. If I should accomplish this mission, I mean, might I perhaps win my wings? I've been waiting for over 200 years now, sir. People are beginning to talk. But you know, the playing girl is very sick. What's some of these things here? Well, here is the magic phone, which we use a lot of because we have lots of phone calls going in and it's got its own little ringer here. So there, and some of the other productions we use uh, a door, which is this button here. And then uh, I get to make all kinds of other sound effects behind. For instance, the dinner scene, I use these dishes here. You can hear it, I just kind of rattle these around and do that and it sounds like people eating dinner. Then I've got Zuzu's bell and the bell for the angels. This one is actually, we've turned into a cash register and then it goes at the end for a cash register. And this is one I found for the, for the uh, glass. This is the best thing, or the best sound uh, of glass breaking that I could find that wasn't actually glass breaking, which is kind of dangerous to do on stage. And then also over here is the trusty pumpkin, which we uh, use for when we hit someone in the head. And then we have our sound effects here on the computer, which is hidden by these albums. Can you get on the extension upstairs? Uh, Mary, Sam wants you to get on the extension upstairs. I can't. Mother's on the extension. Uh, I am not. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just have to share this phone, George. Just put your head a little closer to the phone so we can both hear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, gals, can't you come out tonight? Can't you come out tonight? Can't you come out tonight? Buffalo oh, gals, can't you come out tonight? Hot dog, Mary. <laughs> How did I get involved in Radio Redux? Uh, well, I've known Fred Crafts for years, and uh, I came, actually, I think I came to see one of their first shows, and I said, wow, that looks like a lot of fun, and I talked to Fred and said, keep me in mind. He kept me in mind and called me, and uh, the rest is history. I've done, I don't know, seven or eight or nine or something like that shows, and... And what do I like best about it? Well, part of it is this, you know, the camaraderie. These guys are just, it's a good family. It's a really good family. <laughs> a star is born. Okay. <laughs>